we are getting ready to make one of my favorite Italian dishes, chicken cacciatore. It's probably even more fun to say than it is to make. We've got a little bit of prep. We're gonna knock it out and start cooking. Start by mincing up some fresh garlic cloves. We're next going to peel and slice up some carrots and then quarter some domestic and baby portobello mushrooms. Of course, what's cacciatore without bell peppers and onions? Julienne some red and green peppers and peel some pearl onions. Finish off the veggies with chopping some fresh parsley. To complete the prep, season up our split chicken breasts and chicken thighs with kosher salt and fresh cracked black pepper. Prep is finished. Right now what we want to do is brown off our chicken. I want to brown it off in some bacon fat. You know I love me some bacon. Feel free to use olive oil. But wow, does bacon make it taste that much better. Crisp up your bacon lardons really well in a Dutch oven or cassoulet dish, and then simply set them to the side once brown. And now is when the goodness starts. Add your seasoned chicken right to the bacon fat and cook on all sides until your chicken is a beautiful golden brown, but definitely not cook through. Then take them out and set them aside. The chicken is a perfect golden brown. Now we wanna caramelize all those vegetables that we cut up into that fat from the chicken and bacon. Place the veggies back into the Dutch oven and brown everything. Let all those natural sugars and flavors come out of the vegetables by caramelizing them really well. And now to deglaze. Because my family is from Southern Italy, I'm going to use red wine, but of course, feel free to use white wine. We want to cook the wine down for a few minutes on high heat and then add in our whole peeled tomatoes and juice and also cook down for a few minutes. Finish off with some fresh rosemary leaves, chopped parsley, crispy bacon, salt, and pepper. Now it's time to put everything back in the pot. Place in our chicken and slightly submerge. Pop a top on the pot and braise in the oven on 375 degrees for one hour. There's about five minutes left in the cooking process for our chicken cacciatore in the oven. I just popped in a large pot of boiling salted water, our fresh Angel Hair Ohio City pasta. We're gonna let it finish up cooking. We're gonna plate it up. We are gonna test it out. Since the pasta is fresh, it will cook pretty quickly. And now my favorite part, plating up our masterpiece. Lay down the noodles and top off with caramelized braised chicken and spoon on some vegetables from the pot, as well as some of that delicious cooking liquid. Finish off with parsley. Perfection. Time to manja. I don't want to take too much time talking about this because I want to dig in. It looks delicious. It smells delicious. I've got a ton to eat. I'm getting in it. We'll see you next time.